Hello and welcome to the Gallery News at 4. I am Ogun Jabi Samuel. The other reports for the day. Governor's Bar continues use of AstraZeneca vaccine as Nigerians remain calm. Members of the Nigerian Governors Forum and GF have supported the continued rollout of the AstraZeneca vaccine across the country. They insisted that the vaccine was safe for use, stressing that no side effects have been reported by those who have so far received the jabs in Nigeria. Concerns about the use of AstraZeneca vaccine, which had been supported in some other countries, formed part of the discussion at the meeting of the NGF held on Wednesday. The meeting, which was presided over by the NFG chairman and Ekiti State Governor Kayode Fayemi, received a brief on the status of the vaccine rollout from its COVID-19 Technical Advisory Group CTAG, led by renowned virologist Professor Oyewale Tomori. In his briefing, CTAG recommended that Nigerians should continue to vaccinate all eligible persons with the AstraZeneca vaccine, in line with the latest recommendation of the World Health Organization WHO. The governors, in their response, reiterated their belief in the safety of the AstraZeneca vaccine and agreed to continuously encourage uptake of the vaccines by all eligible persons in their state. They, however, called on the people to report any advisory events noticed after taking the vaccine jabs. Still on the news, while we met with Sakin Fulani of Lagos, U.S. mission, the United States mission in Nigeria has explained why it met with the Sakin Fulani of Lagos and chairman of Association of Fulani Chiefs in Southwest Nigeria, Alhaji Mohamed Babando. The mission gave the explanation on its official Facebook page saying, the meeting was held at the Council General Office residence in Lagos and not at the Sakin Fulani's palace as portrayed by some online media platform. A source said, the meeting was at the instance of a diplomatic mission which invited the second Fulani to the Consul General's residence. It said details of the meeting and photographs of the visit on the official Facebook page US Mission Nigeria and materials were posted on March 5th at 3.30 p.m. On the page, the purpose of the meeting was quoted as the US family believes that diversity is a strength and not a weakness. Still on the news. Gunmen kill man, kidnap mother and brothers in Jigawa. Gunmen have killed a young man during an attack on his father's house in Kao, a community in Jigawa state in the northwest region of the country. The police public relations officer in the state, Zaharuddin Aminuddin, confirmed the incident to a reporter. He identified the 25-year-old victim as Sabu Yusuf, saying his father's house came under attack very early on Wednesday morning. During the incidents which occurred in Benin Kudu local government area, the assailant kidnapped the mother and the brother of the victim. Aminuddin stated that the gunman shot Yusuf and was rushed to the hospital in Brainin Kudu, where he was confirmed dead. At about three, three hours on Wednesday, the police at Brainin Kudu received a report that unknown person trespassed into the house of one Alhaji Abubakar, 50 year old of Kao, Brainin Kudu local government, and attacked and shot his son on the chest. One Sabo Yusuf, 25 years of the same address. They they also they also took his wife, his wife and son to an unknown destination. The victim was rushed to the Federal Medical Center, Berenin Kudu, and was certified dead by the medical practitioner. A statement from the police spokesperson in Chikawa said. And on the foreign scene, Putin replies Berenin's killer comment says it takes one to know one. Russian President Vladimir Putin on Thursday mocked U.S. President Joe Biden over his killer comment but said that Moscow would not severe ties with Washington over the spot. Speaking at an event marked seven years since Russia's takeover of Crimea, Putin said Moscow would continue to work with Washington but are aimed a barb at the U.S. leader. It takes one to know one, Putin said in, tele in televised remark using a scene from his childhood. That's not just a child saying and a joke, there is a deep psychological meaning in this. We always see in another person our own qualities and think that he is the same as us. Putin added that he wished Biden 78 good health. I am saying this without irony, not as a joke. In an interview with ABC News on Wednesday, when asked if he thought Putin, who had been accused of ordering the poisoning of opposition figure Alexei Navalny, is a killer, Biden says, I do. The U.S. president's remarks sparked the biggest crisis in bilateral relations in years and later Wednesday, Russia ordered its Washington ambassadors back to Moscow for urgent consultations in an unprecedented move in recent diplomatic history. Putin said 
the United States was the only country in the world that uses nuclear weapons. Russia, he added, knows how to defend its interests and will work with Washington on terms that benefit Moscow, and they'll all have to deal with it, he said. And on the sport, nothing special about Pinnick election into FIFA Council Kaladima. A former chairman of the Nigerian Football Association, NFA, Alhaji Ibrahim Galadima, has said he does not see anything special about the election of Amadou Pinnick into the Executive Council of the Federation of International Football Association, FIFA. On March 12, the president of the Nigerian Football Federation defeated his only rival, incumbent Wawota in Yamladu of Malawi, 48 votes to 8 to clinch the sole Anglophone slot that qualified him to be a member of the FIFA Council for the next four years. Although the victory is still a topical issue among football stakeholders, Galadima, who spoke to reporters, says he was only happy with the achievement made by Pinnick, but maintained that there was actually nothing to over-celebrate because it is not unprecedented. And that's the much you can take for the news at this hour. Once again, I am Ogun Chabi Samuel. For more information, you can visit us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Bye for now. In life, you can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out here, Udra. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man is just being kind, right? He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pin. Will he succeed? Ah! <laughs> oh, what? My IG found. I see him. Do not share your card pin with anyone. Keep your account information private and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank. It is here again. Are you an artist looking for a place to produce and promote your musical videos? Or a content creator in need of a platform to air your program? The Gallery TV got you covered. At the gallery, we provide world-class production services. Such as event coverage, promotion and production of musical videos, studio rental, live streaming of events. We also provide airtime for your program on all our platforms. These and lots of other interesting packages, all at an affordable price with a 10% discount. For more details, you can visit us on our website at www.thegallerytv or on our social media platforms at The Gallery TV on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. The Gallery TV, we, we set, set the, the pace. pace.